everybody welcome back to my channel and today we're talking all about going back to school so I picked up a few items that I want to show you guys for my little because she will be entering pre-k pre-k is the step before she goes to kindergarten so a year from now she will be entering kindergarten so I wanted to make her pre-k experience super special so we picked up a few items to do that I do want to preference this video with saying that you don't need need any of this stuff. This is stuff that I just got and frankly that I just wanted. None of these items are things that you 100% need. So you can make your little's experience super special without purchasing most of these items. But if you wanted some cute ideas, some fun stuff to buy for back to school, this video is for you. So first thing that I wanted to get is a lunchbox. And every year I buy her a new lunchbox when she has gone into a new class. She is four years old, like I said, so she's not in grade school yet. But I wanted to I wanted to have her pick out a new one. This is probably the first year that she's really cared about picking it out. So we don't need a backpack at her school. You bring like a change of clothes and stuff and you leave them in a cubby so they don't want the kids bringing a backpack. So I did not purchase a backpack this year, but I did grab a lunchbox. So this is the lunchbox that I purchased for her. It is so stinking cute. It is from Personalized Mall. That is my secret, folks. A lot of times when I get personalized items because I love those I love them, but I don't always love the price tag. But Personalized Mall, this lunchbox, the basic version, was only $22. It was on sale, and that includes the personaliz personalization. You guys know with Pottery Barn, you're going to be paying a ton of money. And especially if you have multiple children, this site, and this is not sponsored, gives you that same feel. The quality of the items are amazing. The personalization is fantastic. My kids' Easter baskets are from there. I have a ton of stuff that's from that site. And it's really affordable. So check out Personalized Mall um, on the internet I will have like it linked down below but this is a lunchbox we chose you can pick the font the color of the font all of those things just like you do on Pottery Barn but you're not gonna pay an arm and a leg so her lunchbox I always like one that has the little slot on the side in her school their water bottle either has to fit inside of the lunchbox or on the side so I like that little slot where her water bottle can go it has a little zipper pocket in the front and you can see in there I prefer the soft shell lunch boxes because I don't know if this is bad for them but I wash them I probably wash my kids lunch box every week because they just get it dirty so I like to wash them and then inside we have this front pocket typically I will stick an ice pack in that front pocket and then this big section on the back and I want to show you guys we use the kids like bento box and I want to show you that it does fit in this her bento box we are really using the one that she had from last year which I love these you can see it's well used well loved so this is her box I love these you get them on Amazon they're a little bit pricey for a container that goes in the lunchbox but literally it's lasts us all school year long we bought this this time last year so August ish last year we purchased this hers is a little bit wet we just cleaned it out but it's like this it has the different compartments this comes out for easy washing and you can put sauces and stuff in this and it's airtight I always buy ours from Amazon I know they have them at Target as well but I will have this link down below but I wanted to show you guys that this fits in this perfect with actually a little bit of room to spare so even you could stick the water bottle inside but it does have that water bottle pocket that you can put on the side so you can stick this in here and then still have some room for some additional snacks and it zips up super easy there you go and I want to tell you the water bottle that she chose the site does have a few water bottles but she wanted this Barbie one from Target I like these ones because they close they have this spigot these are super easy to clean 
and the water and the ice stays in here for 12 hours. So we usually fill it up with ice and then we fill it up with water because her school she can refill the water but she can't refill the ice. So I do all ice, then I fill it up with water and then at school she can refill it and her drink is nice and ice cold. So I love these. It comes with a little handle and I love it because it fits nicely on the side of her lunchbox. And there you go. So from Target, Personalized Mall, told you that's where I get. I have blankets that I've gotten from there, personalized for people's babies and stuff like that. It's just such a great site. So past the lunchbox, when your kid is in pre-K or younger, they're going to need something to sleep on. So from Amazon, a lot of places will sell these sleeping mats, but Amazon, you can't beat the prices. So we have this one. Um, you, they have a little tag in the front that says this sleep mat belongs to, and then I put my daughter's name. You have a little handle. It folds up. It's compact, and we love it because it just has these little straps on the front. and the pillow there. And I love this sleep sack so much that I have included it in another video that I did recently called my Amazon, my Amazon favorites. But here it goes. Of course, my daughter chose unicorn because she is unicorn obsessed, but I just love it because it folds up easily. It's really soft and cuddly, and it's just a great sleep mat at a great price for your littles. So also with the pre-K or age group, I always like to grab a few learning materials. These aren't necessarily things for back to school, but I like to do them in the beginning of the school year for readiness and during the school year. Maybe we'll do a page or two on the weekend just to keep things fresh and keep the new things they're learning in school fresh in their minds. I have these books. So Brooklyn's on this age group. She's on the preschool grade one, and it's for ages for three to five. Like I said, my little is four. So the um, things in the front, they kind of start off easily, and then they gradually get harder. But I love these books. These ones are actually from Aldi, and I absolutely love them, but I will link down some similar ones from Amazon. And like I said, I taught forever, and this is kind of the pattern that we use for writing and doing those numbers. When I was a teacher, this is kind of the method that I use. But I love it that they're in a book. They're easy for parents. Like I said, you can have your kid do a page or two um, during the summer or during the school year just to keep all those new ideas that they were learning fresh in their mind. So I will have these linked down below from Amazon. And then first day of school, no matter the age group, you guys know it's 2021, you're gonna need your sign. This one I picked up from Michaels, it was only $5. Yes guys, I said $5. Um, I've seen them this year also in the Target dollar spot and they run about the same price. I loved this one because it was just plain. On this side, it has the first day of school. Um, you're gonna put the date it is, the name of your kid's teacher, how old they are, what they want to do when they grow up, and how, um, like I said, how many years old they are. Sorry about that. And then on the back, it has the last day of school. And I just like these because they were simple. I could use colored, chalk, whatever I would like. But they have the last day of school. You have your little write something, or you'll write something that they learned this year, their favorite subject, and what grade they'll be in next year. And I just love these. It's cute. It's simple. I keep it up in her closet. It's compact and you're going to need this for the first and last day of school. These are really cute. And for $5, you really can't beat that price. So going back to school, I always use this time to refresh my children's underwear. Yes, I said underwear. Because I'll go through anything that's torn, tattered, stained. Underwear, I do not donate underwear. I just chuck them. My kids have used them up. So um, this year, Brooklyn picked out LOL. She has nothing that's LOL, but I guess LOL piqued her interest. So she picked out this pack of, she's in a size four of briefs. 
So seven come in this pack. And then she also picked out this pack from Elsa, and it's also a seven pack. These run about $9.99 at Target. They have tons of different designs. I will link these ones down below if your little is into this. But yes, you can get them in all different sizes. And going back to school is a great time to look through your kids' underwear and just throw away the ones that are looking a little raggedy and grab some new ones. Um, with your a little one in school, you always want to stock up on sneakers. My little girl will wear, I usually don't do open toe shoes at all. Some schools have rules against that. I just usually don't do it. I don't want her scraping up her little feet on the playground, but I will do like a closed toe sandal and something like that. Um, my daughter this year, she wanted to pick up a few things and we grabbed them. You guys know my obsession with white sneakers is real. So I picked these up from Nordstrom's Wrap. They're the Pumas. Um, and on the back, they have like the little mirrored back. Um, she's worn these once so far. And um, I just love them. Pumas usually are whiter. So if you have a child with a whiter foot, usually a puma, especially this style, will fit them. The lace-up style tends to be a little bit more narrow, but usually pumas, this style of shoe with the Velcro and fits a little bit wider. So for those wide feet, they're perfect. So picked up these white shoes. I've said it many times in many of my videos. They go with everything. I love them. A good white shoe for the new school year. My daughter also, she spotted these and I thought these were super interesting from Target. Um, they are these and I gotta show you guys. So the zipper, she liked them I think because they have the sparkly laces. They're kind of a high top sneaker. Um, I like white shoes in like this leather upper only because you're going to need to wash them a lot. So they're easy to throw in the wash or, and to wash them easily. Or you can wipe them down and they come clean easily. Um, a canvas type shoe of this material. Um, they don't usually wash as well. So I like to get that in a colored fabric. But this one was interesting because the zipper, it starts over here. And... It goes down and the whole, your kid sticks their foot in this whole shoe. And I have never seen this brand at Target, but it's called Billy. So I think it's a new brand that they've been carrying. They had this style and then a lower style, which was um, more metallic. And I may go back and pick those up as well because I just really love, I think that's super cool and interesting how the zipper zips across the whole foot. But these were cute. My daughter loved them. So we picked these up for back to school. My little is obsessed with headbands, so for the Cat and Jack brand, we picked up this four pack, not four pack, three pack of headbands. So it came in a purple, a blue, and a pink, and she loved them because they were super sparkly. They were, I shopped for her in the toddler section, but they were in the little girl section, but I just thought they were darling, and they were like $5.99 for the three pack. And the next category is PJs. So I like to get some fresh new PJs for the new school year. Not necessarily new school year themed PJs, but just some cute ones for my little. So I picked up this set. It comes with a shorts and a top. It's a little tank set from Target. It's um, just the Carter's brand. And it's like a, new, a little Norwal. And I just thought that was cute. It's still going to be hot here. I live in California for some time. So back to school, I don't necessarily get a bunch of winter, fall type clothes. Um, I get stuff that's easy for her to put on and just easy for school. So I grabbed that. I have this set as well. I love the little ruffles on the sleeve. It's Carter's brand from Target. And then it comes with these little shorts. I just love these shorts. And I'm pretty sure both of these sets came with a nightgown that's in the wash. The both of the nightgowns are in the wash. And then this, you guys help me out, comment down below. I, we just got back from Nashville. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that. If you don't, I'll leave my Instagram handle down below. That's more like up to date stuff. But I picked up this little set. Is it pajamas? We were going to wear it as pajamas, but I thought it was so cute. It came with these little shorts and this little cloud top. 
They're the Little James brand from Uncommon James. But is it shorts or is it is it like an outfit or is it pajamas? I don't know. We were going to wear it as pajamas. It's really cute, like a dusty pink. But super cute. And then my little, we were at DSW and she picked up these little slipper socks. She loves slipper socks. These ones, they were actually on sale. We got them for like five bucks, but she liked them because if you can't tell, she loves like glitter and sparkle because they like change. But little slipper socks, $5, super cute. And then at Target, she also picked up this necklace. So my unicorn obsessed girl picked up this necklace it came with a bracelet so she's super excited to wear that for her first day of pre-k and this was only five dollars for the set and these i find not in the taller section where i find our clothes but like the little girl section okay all right let's get down to some basic clothes we have a ton of clothes but i do buy a few pieces for back to school one of the staples my daughter loves 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 to wear dresses so she needs some biking shorts so i picked up this three pack from um it came with a gray a black and a pink pair um she'll wear these as regular shorts they're long enough but she'll also wear these underneath her dress and we just needed a good pack of basic shorts for her to wear these are from h m and they're super affordable under ten dollars for the three pack And then from Target, I thought, even though it's still super hot here, maybe there'll be a colder day and we always need to replenish the little stretchy pants. So I picked up, these are the Cat and Jack ones. They're about six bucks a piece, but I picked up the sparkly. She picked out the unicorn print. And then I just picked out a basic black pair. And I think that'll be good. To start off the school year, like I said, it's super hot. I know I keep saying that, but these will be good for any days that are colder. And then we have a few new dresses. So from H&M, like I love those shorts. I love their basic dresses. So I think I got these like three for 15. And she's already worn two of them. But I love these little dresses. They are H&M. I do want to say for us, I think they run big. So I typically like to not size down, but I get the two, the two to the four, if that makes any sense. I don't size down. I just get two to four. I don't get the five to six. So if you're thinking, oh, let me get the five to six so they can grow in it, I've done that and the dresses are so long on her. And I just feel like these fit better. Like she won't have to wear them in another two years. So we got this stripe. I love a good um, blue and white stripe. Like I said, we got like three for 15. We got the unicorn one because she loves unicorns. And then I loved this little leopard number. And then the other ones are from random. Also from Target, we picked up, they have these in several colors. It is hot here, but if it starts to get a little chilly, you can always throw. You guys know I love throwing a jean jacket. But we got this one from Cat and Jack, and I love the ombre effect on it. She loves dresses, guys. And then this one has a longer sleeve, but she absolutely loved this one. This is um, from Disney. Disney, Disney Princess Collection. It has the tutu. It's the one kind of with the bodysuit inside. But she loved this one because it had all the princesses on it. And it was sparkly on the belt. But this one does have a longer sleeve, so it can take you into those colder months. And then from Target, we also picked up this one. And she can throw it on with a white denim jacket. I loved it because I told you guys I love the stripes. I love the little scallop detail on the hem and then those buttons are just so stinking cute. She loves dresses. 
And then my mom sent over this one, which I think is so cute. The stripes again, that button detail. I just love that. And the little ruffle on the bottom. Like she can throw this on with a denim jacket. Some, um, it could even take you into fall, I think. A denim jacket, boots that are like this color. So sick and cute. So I love that one. And this brand is Good Lads. And I know my mom does shop at a smaller boutique, but I will see if I can find it online. And I do have one more pair of shoes. I don't know about you guys, but certain shoes, I just keep buying them year after year, just in a bigger size because I love them so much. Um, these are a repurchase. These are from Cat and Jack. I picked up these. I just love the leopard. It can go with a solid outfit. It can go with another leopard outfit, um, all black, and just pop it with the leopard. Something about the little pink tags on the back, I just really love. But I keep buying these year after year, and they're only like $9.99 so you can't can't beat that price so I love these and then dresses we got this one from Old Navy she just loved it I think all the hearts on there it was only like five dollars so she loved it so we just had to grab it and it has that little short cap sleeve I always say you can always throw on a denim jacket with it and it would be really cute and then last two dresses, we picked these up from Nordstrom's Rack, the same where we got the sneakers, but this one is from Oshkosh. We only picked it up for $12.97 because it was from Nordstrom's Rack, and it has that unicorn on the front, purple tutu on the bottom. You put a cute solid shirt under there, and I just love it, and I'm obsessed with denim, so very cute, and my daughter was sold with the unicorn. And then last one, this one we got for $14 and little rainbow dress. So cute little rainbow dress. I love the little ball details on the sleeve in the front, little buttons in the back and super cute. And all of these dresses, if you're sending a little one off to school, just make sure you throw shorts on them. I have been a teacher and worked in education forever. So that's my little tip. Just put some shorts under there. But my daughter loves dresses and she wears them all year round. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully it gave you some ideas of things that you may want to purchase for your littles going back to school. Like I said, my daughter is only going into pre-K. So if you were dealing with a kindergartner or an older student, of course you would need a backpack and more school like supplies, pencils, all of those things. But since my little's going in pre-K, this will serve her well. And thank you guys again for watching and I will see you next time with a whole new one. Bye guys. <music>